So we're going to jump right into My Hero Academia. This episode was all Lumillion or Tog- Togata. It should have been more. Power! Been more. <laughs> just, just being the shit out Chisaki, which was satisfying. Uh, what a god, dude. Yeah, you want to make fun of, a, of his appearance now, David? <laughs> I told you he was OP, man. He was pretty was, badass. You know, he's such uh, a G. <laughs> oh my god, I love that character. He's so good. Oh. Uh. I guess I didn't like uh, think about how much hard he had to train too, just to like get his mis- and uh, his like going through through walls and stuff, and like having to be physically strong at the same time. Dude, just how the guy's quirks like works, it just sounds such like a pain in the ass to get that to work. Yeah, yeah. his dad was like, "Yeah, you make one wrong step, you're gonna split yeah, you're into it's like, bro." <laughs> That's why I loved his dad attitude, man. He goes, "Yeah, I try. Uh, it's just not for me, son. But I'll support you." You know, he's thinking in his head like, "You're gonna fail." <laughs> <laughs> so I love his dad's attitude. Very good side character. I hope we see more of him. Man, uh, his dad looks like just silly. like him, doesn't he? He's just, yeah, very silly, just like him, which. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I expect it, but it's just like just seeing another person look like him. Just, just, I don't know. It threw me off. It's just God damn, David. That's not all of our appearances. Okay, God. They all have the creepy eyes, man. That's how you know you, your daddy's son, man. <laughs> Dude, but the, but the sacrifice that Lamillion went through to say that. So like, so because he got because he so Chisaki, Chisaki was saying that uh, basically once this bullet is so good that is it basically permanent now. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Supposedly. Supposedly, because this is the first batch. But damn. We have, conspir- we have some if... conspiracies already. Mm-hmm. I think it'd be really cheap if they go back on this. So basically, if it's like, oh, by the way, this is only 98% complete. So there's a 2% chance if you get like a magic surgery, you get your quirk mm-hmm. back. So Man. for the sake of the story, I would think that's a really big cop out if they do that. Yeah. I think I'd be okay with that cop out. out. If Eri's dead, like if Eri dies, and I guess it would be a cop out. But if she's still alive, there is there's always a way for it to come back. I think mm, I don't know. I, I go ahead. I was saying, yeah, they can like reverse engineer her blood. <laughs> I think yeah. because they made Stain die, I wouldn't see it past them to like to have something like like uh, Togeda lose his quirk as like a consequence. I think I think this show would be the one that would would go all the way with it and not cop out. Yeah, but like so far, like Hero Academy is it's so good with just actually having like really big risks to the show. So that if they cop out of this, I would be so bad. It's like, bro, this <laughs> man just sacrificed everything to save this girl. I mean, they let, they, let this man shine. They're almost copping out with like with the Deku just because he keeps, he keeps breaking his body with like not using his quirk properly and. He's still like, but being able to use yeah, it. but like he legit no, 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 can't time. use his arms at max power anymore. There's, yeah, there's like there's there's consequences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, and they he changed like... his diet. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 He started drinking a lot more milk. They said they should... it was in one of those like after the episode scenes. He's just like bathing himself in milk. And his mom's like, "What are you doing?" He's like becoming a hero. <laughs> the show. The show is sponsored by Kemp's. <laughs> That's right. Um, uh, it's uh, God, what was I gonna say? I, I feel like they could have used like this whole episode for um for Lamillion instead of actually spending that first five ten minutes talking about Chisaki, which it was like it wasn't it was just it was like really weird where they placed it. It didn't, um, really, it didn't really give much like backstory. Chisaki, no, honestly, like it's, it's, just, like it's like the same as when he was a kid as he is now. So yeah, they basically show it's like oh yes, that's right. This guy was a child at once too. Mm-hmm. I think yeah, I think was... they're showing that he was an orphan picked up by the the, the Yakuza boss. Yeah, Yakuza. Yakuza. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the old guy that yeah. I mean, I don't think it was oddly placed at all. I think it was placed just fine because uh, it gave some backstory to Chisaki. Although I'm pretty sure yes. in the next episode, they're going to try to explain more about why he gave up that name because he was super irritated whenever uh, Lamillion would always say, Chisaki! Dude, I don't like saying overall. I'd rather say Chis- Chisaki. <laughs> like, well, yeah, apparently, Tokuta did too. Just sounds, what? Like, some weird Transformer that got rejected by Optimus. Like, <laughs> overall! <laughs> and Optimus was like, dude... <laughs> Can we stop hanging out with this guy, please? <laughs> roll out. So, yeah, I like just hockey a lot better. Just, um, I mean, it, I mean, it, it's more normal, and like, it also like, I don't know, because I don't like calling like heroes by their name because it's just so weird to say it. Like when you say call people by their, their actual name, it makes them, it gives them more character to me at least. Right, but you have to really think about it. You don't really know these guys personally, so to call them by their first name is kind of rude when they have a hero name. 
I don't care. Yeah, yeah so. let's show some proper respect. By the yeah. way, guys, I have a prediction. There's five bullets, or there are five bullets. Now there's four left. I think that's all we're going to see. But I also think Chisaki will get undone by one of his own bullets. Ooh. I can see that happening. Yep, but that's... is, uh, is of... the guy that, 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 that shot it? I forgot the, the guy that uh, makes you confess. confess. Is he, confession. Is, is he still think... awake or is he knocked out? No, uh, he's, he's, still, he's conscious. He's conscious. Yeah. He's still conscious. Yeah. Yeah. But he only had one bullet. Yeah, he, he got uh, thrown yeah, one bullet. He was thrown one bullet by Chisaki. Yeah. But the other ones are still kind of like Which lying I'm, around. Like I'm surprised that you know there's guns in Japan, but I guess it's Yakuza, so it'll be the only Yakuza, place you can get a gun in Japan. I mean, yeah. he, they're Yakuza, of yeah. course they have guns. Yeah, I mean, you, you see them. And in you're that talking game. about a guy with a crow face that makes people well, confess. I mean, it still takes yeah. place in Japan, even in a hero society. I'm pretty sure it's Japan would still ban guns because they're Bro. they're a crime. MMA. They don't <laughs> 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 MMA is the ultimate underground illegal thug activity in this series, okay? Whereas in Japan, real reality wise, it's probably it was one of the most popular sports and very mainstream. So uh I, I would take that with a grain of salt, like how Japan actually is compared to I guess. how the show has set it up. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't reality, so you gotta separate that shit. Just go <laughs> okay. Just take it apart. That's um, right. I know like me and Sasha kind of talked about how like uh like the still images, like the still scenes were kind of like just like thrown in there instead of like it could have been, it could I guess it could have been like yes. a lot more impactful if it was actually animated. That's, that's what everyone's disappointed with, honestly. That like, okay. oh yeah, honestly, was, that yeah. threw me out completely. Like this should have been like t taking the time to animate that because it probably is gonna be like one. It should have been one of the best fights of this season, and it was just like a wasted opportunity, basically. So. Yeah, but I mean, I think I, you know what I like. Out. Okay, yeah. What I was looking forward to is sometimes what animes do is they will go from a full color shot to like the black, oh, black and, white and white color outlines yeah. that are kind of blurred. I always think that's a really good effect because I don't know, it just draws me into it more. I feel like they should have used some of that as opposed to the still images, which yeah. uh, I was like, what is this? A, like an anime fan montage? <laughs> <laughs> Especially if this was like Lemillion's kind of like a. Uh... It's like one like his episode where it's just like I mean this is probably the only time he's, he's got get since he got shot with a yeah. bullet too so yeah and you're, and you're seeing him like basically fight Shisaki just like straight up like you know uh, hand to hand combat against the guy that oh. obviously just touch you and you're gone and people were saying too that um that the reason why is because uh th I think the director the first three seasons took up because I'm working on the movie or they were working on the movie at the same time as this season so I think they took a oh. bunch of like important people with them to work on the movie instead so I think. I stay pretty shorthanded for this season. I was gonna, I was gonna say that because this season, like animation quality has been definitely a lot lower than their other, than their other seasons. Like I was gonna say, maybe they just used up their budget on the uh, not one but two Kirishima episode. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Everyone's saying it's just it's because of the movie. <laughs> like they they split the resources yeah. with the movie. Yeah, I can see that. Then that makes sense. Which is unfortunate because I feel like this arc has the most intensity yeah. behind it yeah. compared to the previous arcs. So. You'd want to put your best foot forward with it, but know, so. they've got to play it. The only, you... the only um, upside to this is that the movie just came out, and so they should hopefully had enough resources oh, really? for its second half. So Wait, it's out. It's out in Japan. In Japan? Any oh, reviews on it yet? Uh, I didn't. I didn't look any. I'm just waiting. Wait, is this movie canon or no? I don't think it is. Oh, what? Uh, the... It's like almost all the movies are never canon. Well, like I think Demon Slayers. It wasn't Dragon Ball. <laughs> Just saying. Well, bro, the, bro. I think, I think the first movie, I think I don't know if they said it was canon or not. They just like they just put but, it in like a time period in between it's not, the seasons. Okay. Well, no, I heard there. I heard the, the the girl and like the the guy that's supposed to be like all, one of All Might's like best friends. Those those characters I heard are canon. Okay, but I don't know. About, I don't know about the story though. Um, that they threw them in. So so hopefully, like maybe that now that the movie's done and like they were working on next arc, like they had more time to like for you assume like like the the ending of the battle like the, like. Like the end of the next season should be really good. It's okay yeah. because so far everything's been kind of just the side characters. And now that Deku's popped into the scene and all the uh, artists are back, it's gonna be all about Deku. It's gonna make less season, man. This kid's yeah, just been kicking good. walls and shit. He's so worthless. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you kicked the wall, sir? That's very hard to do. Okay. I mean, is it drywall? Because I'll kick straight through that. <laughs> it doesn't seem like drywall. I mean, he's kicking like his drywall. <laughs> I mean, just, if you have all, if you have yeah, uh, yeah. if you have one for all, I think you're fine. Yeah, I think you're all right. Yeah, but yeah, because um, after all this time, there hasn't been any emphasis on Deku at all. 
Other yeah. than the fact that All Might might die, awesome. and he has that one secret that he was yeah. holding back. But that's Which I'm, I'm, I'm okay with. Like with actually showing like more like supporting cast like story. I think it's fine. Oh, like, it's, uh, it's mainly been like like Togaga, Tamaki, and then um Kirishima. Like basically those three. Mm-hmm. I guess no I, I guess like Fat Gum because he's with Kirishima. So Fat Gum's a beast too. So, um, like, do you guys consider like uh I was gonna ask this like with uh um where with uh Lemillion losing his quirk? Do you think that's kind of like 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 what the show has been needing? I know like everybody's been saying like oh like Kirishima is gonna die or somebody else is gonna die. Is this equivalent to that? Kind of, yeah. Yes. It's, it's really oh, like yeah. like you really felt that. I still like, think someone's gonna die because <laughs> they went like this. Lemillion, like, Lemillion's dead, dude. He's dead. Like <laughs> since a child, this man was working to make his quirk work to be yeah. a hero, and then just. Out of nowhere, it's just gone. It's like, dude, that's the most depressing thing yeah. ever. It's like me scared. going to the gym for like 20 years, <laughs> making mass gains, mm-hmm. and then just out of nowhere, a tragic injury happens, and I'm just like, <laughs> I just become so just depressed. Dude, that, that'd be the worst. Well, and like the coolest part about him, too, because I really was on the fence about him pretty much right up until this episode, but he didn't even, <laughs> he didn't stop. He wasn't phased. He just kept going. Just kept going. I think uh, people said in the manga, too, like he just kept beating up Chisaki for like five more minutes. <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> So. Yeah, this guy, I think this is... Go ahead, Sasha. Sorry. If anyone is to lose their power and overcome it with their positive attitude, it's going to be him. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. Him. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah, he's, that's, the equivalent... That's, that's why I feel like... he's the equivalent of Rock Lee, man. <laughs> he is, uh... man. He is. I'm not trying to <laughs> offend people, Rock but I feel like he's he's a better character than Rock Lee. Oh, 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 just oh, better take those words Damn. back, bro. What's his bro, Rock this guy, Rock Lee surgery, had, had like, yeah, he had a moment of depression. This guy without hesitation just did whatever he needed to do as a hero damn so Dude, this guy is still fighting this and he's yeah. still man chisaki yeah. without whoa, quirk, whoa, whoa, he has no quirk <laughs> sir let's get rock roughly some credit here okay he wasn't in the heat of the moment like he has gone balls out the heat of the moment. remember when he fought i forgot his name like kimchi or whatever his name was with the uh bone marrow the guy who like <laughs> sh- shoved bones out of his body i forgot what his name was what was his name but, was kimchi Kimchi, like Kimaro, or Kim, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Kimaro. I think it was Kimaro. Was it Kimaro? There you go. That's Kimaro. close enough. You know, it's Kimaro now. It's Kimaro. It's Kimaro. Kimaro. It's Kimaro. It's coming out of his. <laughs> but if you think about it, Rock Lee just took that drink without hesitation, got drunk, and and they're fighting him. But the problem is, when these guys who shine in the moment, when they have to sit down and be depressed about things and think about them, that's where it starts to drag on them. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen that's- with a million now. But Rock Lee, he's used to just being physical, and that's the way he gets rid of all his depression and anxiety is, I got this. I'm just going to train harder. But when someone tells you, yeah, you got like 50% chance of pretty much being paralyzed, yeah, that's something you're not going to be like, oh, I'm going to go climb a tree, and it's going to all go away. <laughs> so I think I'm going to need you to take yeah. those comments back, right, sir? I'm going to talk to you after this. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens in the next episode. But as of right now, but better character. I think, um, oh my God. I think... This episode was basically like I think it was Toga. I think he was basically coming to terms with that. He had a bunch of ideals about being a hero. That's Mm -hmm. he wanted to save a million, and he didn't. I think he finally realized that like just even saving just saving one person was like hard enough. I think he he has he has like I think he's um what's the word? I think he like he actually God what's the word? Like he he understands that like like this is what like. He, he doesn't mind like that he lost his power just to save like one person now because he he already regrets that he already had to like leave behind Ari before, so yeah. I don't think he'll be as depressed losing his quirks. I think he'll he'll rather like do a positive spin and see that he did everything he could just to save Ari and it was worth it. Well, um, I think in his mind too, like because the the only news that they have about those shots is it's temporary. He I don't think he knows it's permanent yet. That's um, true. He's got to find out. So. Well, yeah. I mean, so I'm so like seeing like gonna... after like he finds out, like I think he'll be depressed, but I think he will. Well, I think he'll have a positive attitude because I think he really felt that like he was like when he was like down on himself at, like at the meeting because he he thought like yeah he just didn't like realize that how much how much he had put at stake and this is him like put doing it. So yeah, right. But what Sasha was saying earlier though was how heroes um like come back up after this or how their resolves is um let's see how he bounces back because that'll determine like how good of a character this guy is i do right? think like his his character type is the type to bounce back though right. or he would be the one so uh, yeah. i'm just i'm just saying like he i think he already figured out just before this that, like he was ready to sacrifice everything that's why he was 
that's why he was he was still willing to fight even after he lost his quirk. Right, but that's what the adrenaline rush, right? Once everything settled down and he comes to terms with what really mm-hmm. just happened and how severe it is, uh, how he bounced back from this, that's going to really determine how good of a character he is. Yeah, I, but I, I really like he's, he's a, I mean, he's still a good fighter, so he can still be a good like yeah. martial artist. Like, race, I, so. I still really wish they would have like actually animated the fight with Chisaki when he like during the time he lost his quirk. Just oh, yeah. like I think that would look so epic. Yeah, like, the guy was just still going because it's like the guy's already like still just going like uh like hand to hand. I even thought like the, even when he's still like the point where he still had his quirk where he's kicking the guy in the face where he's like he's going through the area to basically mm-hmm. like then contact like make contact with the guy. Mm-hmm. I just thought the, the, the that was, was pretty badass. So yeah. cool. that was pretty yeah. badass. Taylor just thought happened. he was gonna. <laughs> I just thought he was gonna die though once he lost his quirk. So I'm um, props to yeah, him for not dying. I thought, yeah, I thought he was gonna get like his arm. His I thought he was gonna get like his arm like dis- dissolved by Chisaki or something. So. Well, I was well the whole time. I basically like uh like uh we were watching the episode and Taylor was just kind of like laying in the the like uh, laying in the chair. And then all of a sudden like everything that was happening, she just started start, they just started to move. Just like straight up, I actually like you know like worrying enough worriness like thinking like oh god this guy's gonna die. <laughs> Oh yeah, there well, was I just feel like there's been a lot of rinse and repeat this season, and it's been a lot of backstory and build up of side characters, and it finally moved mm-hmm. forward this week. Caught my attention. True. <laughs> yeah. I think it would have been great if Chisaki like stuck his two fingers out, his forefinger and middle finger, and got him in the eyes, and instead of blowing <laughs> his eyes up, they just turned to normal eyes. He's like, "What? <laughs> How did this happen?" <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How are you so, guys gonna be so rude to this hero? How are you guys gonna keep making fun of the guy? Listen, yes. man, he's <laughs> unique. My prediction: He's laying in a hospital bed. Fat gum comes in because you know he's the closest with fat gum, bro. You can't use your cork anymore, and he's gonna start to cry. Then you see fat gum unzip his shirt, and just feed him some fat gum breast milk. <laughs> he's like, "This will make you feel better, bro." <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, you may now continue. <laughs> oh, okay. do you guys think that? Uh, He'll get passed down uh, one for all. No, no. What? Really? <laughs> Why not? Did get that from Deku? I mean, yeah. If, if Deku, no, Deku ain't giving it, that up, Deku no, because the quirk. Because you only yeah, because there can't be two people with it, right? No. It, it's yeah. just you pass it down yeah. through generation, so you can't do it like mm-hmm. it's only one per generation. generation though? Unless they're in the showers together, in the UA showers, <laughs> and then he takes a piece of Deku's hair and just swallows it. I could see that happening. But the thing is, like the person that like they have to be, they have to be the one like giving the power away. They can't just take it like that. Um, what do you mean? Oh. All Might still has one for all. Well, I mean, he used it all, but they both had it at the same time. Yeah, well, but he was losing his power though, because like, it's basically it keeps just like transferring over. Listen, not, not transferring, but he just it, it just it just slowly just like uh, loses it over time. Lamilia deserves it. <laughs> uh, Let's have a that's... spin-off series where Lamilia is the main character, and then David can just <laughs> shit on his eyes the entire Dude, time. I mean, Lamillion, that's, Lamillion that's why have... that's why Night Eye was so pissed at uh, All Might for giving away the one for the all for the one for all for uh, to Deku instead of, instead of Togaga because he would have been a god. <laughs> yeah. Well, we still figure out like, why he didn't get it, right? Because there's still a reason as to why All Might didn't give it to him in the first place. Uh, All Might mentioned it though that he he didn't. I, th- I don't think he met the guy until he, after Deku. Um, no, he met he, him before he Deku. Deku. Are you sure? I, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure he ran into it ran into Deku before uh, Lumilia or uh, Togata, and then that's why he chose Deku because they they mentioned that in one of the episodes that that's the reason why like he chose uh, Deku. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, it was one of the earlier episodes this season, actually, where they did the flashback. Yeah. I just I don't even remember the exact reason, but yeah, yeah, because that's when Deku uh, he talked to All Might about it, and then All Might um, talked about how like because it because he met Deku first uh, type of thing where he, um, so. Hmm. But yeah, I, I, I think I think like it seems so unrewarding. I met you first, so you have it. Hmm. Well, first come, I mean, first serve. Also, the, like his, is, his passion for to become a hero, with, yeah, like he's... literally being powerless. So yeah, he saw you know Deku running to save yeah. Bakugo, and then that's kind of like what like made him realize like he can go above his powers as well. <clears throat> well, that's yeah. why I'm not sad that like Deku has the power and not Togata because uh, I mean he's still several years younger than Togata, and he didn't even have a quirk for most of his life, and he's already mm-hmm. making really great waves from the one year or so of training that he's had. Right. By the time that he gets yeah. to Togata's age, God knows what he'll be capable of. Yeah, but just think if Togata had it like from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> like I would have been an absolute monster. We can't have everything we want, Strain, all right? 
That would have been too easy. He's already a monster, right? Yeah, because it would have been too easy. Like we already know, like you know, villains aren't getting anywhere with him. Mm. Yeah, but if if Toga got it, then there would be one superhero, and there would be no Deku's. There'd be less heroes out on the playing field, so it works out better this way. I mean, there's already there's already one less now. Yeah. (laughs) One girl got saved. (laughs) What's up, Brian? No, I I was just saying he he's just gonna be literally that guy that just. Runs around and just punches people in the face without it, like the fucking power. It's gonna be great. Who, a million? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think he's gonna start now? his own like truck moving service and just help people <laughs> out. <laughs> like yeah. typical anime fashion. I, dude, that guy was That's still, right. I, I mean, he was still a beast though, even without his. Like, he was still like basically going hand to hand against the guy that had like, uh, you know, the, the quirk that, you know, you touch, you, you touch, it's over. I mean, that's only good for what MMA. <laughs> so, yeah, dude, he's in, you'll yeah. see him in an MMA ring against uh, a <laughs> Rapa. Guy. Yeah, oh, yeah, this Rapa. is where he walks on a dark path with Rapa. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess it'd be like, kind of like how he's like against like ranged opponents, but yeah, he got yeah he got caught. He got impaled a few times. Mm-hmm. What if him and Rapa become a couple? <laughs> you should Rapa you. wraps his arms around him. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I think I still think Lamillion could take on Rapa. <laughs> even his current hey, state. Uh, I don't know about I don't that. Random that. segue. That's Dude, even Chisaki much. was confused by a uh, toenail magnet person. Remember, he's like, sorry about... And they're like, it's a girl. And he's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So I was just as confused as my boy. Holla, holla for $10. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I think most people would have been confused. Like, uh, But they, they did reference it in one of the episodes. But the problem is like the, the, like, the seasons aren't uh, there aren't consistent, so it's like just long breaks, and you just forget those those type of things. Yeah, I for- forgot about everything. Like I like how they yeah. explain all their powers again because I completely yeah. forgot about like twin. Yeah. I uh, twice. Tw- oh yeah, dude, I forgot twice. His thing twice. Too, yeah. I remember his, but I, I forgot. I didn't realize Toga. She had to like actually drink the blood. I, just, I didn't realize that was like, what I had, what she had to do. I was like, oh. yeah. I, I swear she she's got to be somehow related to the same. Like there's dude, no she, way that she's not. She a hundred percent has AIDS. What? Bro, that wasn't what I was going for. That got dark real quick. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I feel like you were just waiting to say that sometime throughout the. She got like, AIDS hey, for sure. <laughs> Villain. Dude, the amount of blood that she's ingesting, it has to be. Like, it's so, it, it has to happen. She's getting right? it from heroes. Are you assuming that heroes are dirty people? May, no, dude, I mean, hey, how do you know? Dude, you don't know her past, bro. Oh, no, like I feel like the quirk would heal that for you. There's got to be some sort of quirk. There's got to be some sort of quirk that's like, that, like you know. Is the uh, is the the cure all to that uh, that kind of stuff? Yeah, it's, it's got to uh, happen, man. They got it's, everything. It's they got eighty four thousand dollars in cash. Dude, they got <laughs> they got a kid. They got a kid that turns like everything into vinegar. There's 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 gonna be somebody that can, <laughs> that can cure. Always got to bring that up, Strand. God damn, Dude, that kid See, will forever be a meme. Mm-hmm. Her arc <laughs> has potential because what if she becomes like the best first aid or a. Uh, Red Cross worker of all time. But she's like, I changed my life around. I used to do this and work for the Yakuza or League of Villains, but now I help people and change their blood. What is she going to do with be... for the Red Cross, man? She can... She's going to she's just take their blood. Yeah. No, and, and no, transform man, into them. Know. That's all she does. She transforms. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. the person's is just like, please let me die. And she's like, I will live for you. And then she just sl- slits her throat, takes the blood and, mo- and then turns into them and moves on. I like that. <laughs> Again, or do that dark real quick. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah well, uh, as long as we're on the oh, dark wait. subjects. What is her name? Toga. Toga? Himiko Toga. Toga. Oh, Toga. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, there's Toga, like, and Toga. I thought you said Togata. And I'm like, oh, yeah. isn't no. that Lemillion? Yeah. That's, that's right. why I just say Lemillion. Like, at this point, like, in the season, like, it's especially since they're both a part of it now, like, I just call Togata Lemillion just to kind of keep it okay, easier to be hard, separate. But, but yeah. All right, guys, predictions for the last four bullets. Let's just do a quick initial predictions. First thing that comes to your mind. Let's go with Brian first. Deku. What? Yep, he's done. Sir, show's <laughs> over. <laughs> show's just straight up over. Off Deku's getting it. Off he gets one is gone yeah, forever. <laughs> I, I think, I think Chisaki's, I don't think anyone else got to get hit. I think he's got to not use it or he's got to miss when he, he uses it. I think, I think right. uh, Toga was the only one this season. Strong, mm. right? Um, I mean, I'll I'll kind of piggyback off your idea where Chisaki is gonna get hit by it. Um, I think at some point, I think Chisaki could be hit oh, by actually, it. I mean, no, I, I like that better too. I'm gonna change my mind to that. 
No, no, David, you, you can't have do that. Can't do that. No, I, I like that better. You can't flip flop like that. I like that better than mine. Like, I legit think Sasha had like the best idea. Like, I, I definitely think Chisaki's gonna get be. He's gonna be some. I'll agree with Stren. I actually like that better. Like, if it's not shot, he's gonna get hit by it. It's in some way. Um. And then was it those thriller bullets? I, I'm gonna just guess at least one's gonna miss. I, I can't see all of them hitting people. I think um, another one might hit a, one of the League of Villains. Like, uh, who knows if they're gonna use it against each other? Because once they find out, oh man, this can take away your yeah. work permanently. Yeah. You never know, because those guys are always looking to backstab each other, even though, you know, on the surface everything looks nice and friendly. Yeah, I could, in a way like if Deku okay if Deku ends up getting hit by one of these bullets I'm thinking like okay there's no way it's going to be permanent that's it's like immediately with us like a main kind of character um I just no, think I think the show's over if he gets hit yeah. like, uh, well, yeah. purpose. either that or they basically find a way to cure it which is like I, which in a way it's just going to be kind of like a, a, a in a way a cop-out well, that's going to be more of a cop-out because then like you can cure <clears throat> you can cure yeah. it to so, like but, but I'm just saying, like, if 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 Deku does get hit by it, then I'm thinking, like, okay, there's gonna be a cure, or a cure, or like a way around it. No, oh, that's um, why they're hyping up Red Riot. Red Riot's gonna take over. He's no. okay, man. So, so, yeah, okay. All right, cool. Your thoughts? <laughs> he's gonna be the Yamcha. Wait, wait, I got one more bullet. <laughs> um, uh, and I think, like, I don't think Aizawa is gonna get hit. Uh, maybe Night Eye, because Night Eye is there, and he's like, he's the one that actually can see the future and what happens. So maybe he can do something. Maybe, uh, but you can't hit them in the ass because they're made of steel, basically. So True. that's fair. That is, that is fair. Might break the bullet. That is fair, but yeah, that's. I think that's where my bullets are. I think it was. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you know, I feel like it's going to be that way where they're going to take a shot at Deku, but it's going to miss or it's going to not hit him somehow for some reason, and then Chisaki's going to get hit with a bullet as well. He's going to lose his powers that way. But then for the two extra bullets, I feel like the League of Villains is going to somehow take it and like run away with it. Oh, yeah, I think oh, League of Villains okay. has failed. I, th- I think they're gone. I think I don't think twice. No, in, still uh... there. You don't think Tomar's gonna they, they show up the next to to fight someone? I, I think they're still there. No, yeah, they got that least... portal guy. Remember that guy can like just yeah. randomly appear places. Yeah. Well, they yeah. basically because well the whole thing is like when he's just like oh we've been used or like or Aizawa's just like oh they they were using like the other people. I think Toga and Twice are gone. I don't think they're gonna stay. I think their the whole point of them was just basically get them. You think the entire League of Villains is gonna be gone? I think so. I think this arc is basically Shisaki, Shisaki and just using... And using Shisaki. Shisaki. Yeah. yeah. Right. But then, like I said, it's going to be like the like the stepping stone for the League of Villains because they're going to come back out now in full force. But then yeah. they're going to also take this uh, those two bullets or whatever and use it as well. I could easily it's... see... Yeah, I could see one bullet still left over and, like, th- and then them take it somehow. Right. Because yeah. I still think this is just like... Uh, <clears throat> setting starting, up, yeah, setting up for the League of Villains later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be Taylor. Your thoughts? Are we still on who the bullets are going to go into? For sure. sure. <laughs> I think we've I think we've covered a lot of the points, but one that I think would be interesting and really sad is if it if it hit Bakugo like right after he finished his new training to be able to actually get back into stuff. I'd love he just to see it. Just by just like, Bakugo dive in here. He, he flies, I know, he I know but after he alert. takes his test. Oh it's going to be God. like a stray like drive-by shooting bullet that hits people <laughs> randomly. Like he's just sleeping and in his room. He doesn't even know what's going on yet. Like he doesn't know any of this information. Like I feel like he would explode. Uh, then every time he hears the song, fire. this girl is on fire. He gets depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Bakugo. Yeah, those are just my initial thoughts. <clears throat> Otherwise, yeah, I was going to say Night Eye. And, um, yeah, Night Eye was my first thought. Sasha? I feel like. Bro, I gave my thoughts already. Oh, did you? My bad. <laughs> yeah. Remember, Sretton was like, I got Sasha's back. And then yep, David was like, back. oh, I'll take Sretton's Oh, I thought you were going to say something yeah. about that. Well, David changed okay. I did. In all seriousness, <laughs> I feel like if they really wanted to cop out and give Togata his powers back, they'll pro- I feel like a stray bullet's going to hit Aerie, and her powers are just all negated completely. Bro, her blood, like, that's her blood. <laughs> exactly. So she suits herself, and she uses, negates her entire power. I don't know if that's how it's going to work. Dude. But... Uh, I I take it. It's a theory. I, I mean, if it somehow like actually fixes her, I'll take it. But I just don't know. It it doesn't really make of like what we know. I don't. It doesn't really make sense. Um, unless they do something else. But <clears throat> but but even if if uh, if they do do the cop out with Togata, like let's say like they can somehow like fix it, I would take it. Was that the only one that was cheering up from that whole thing? I, I mean, I think probably epic, yeah. but like. 
the the thing is, it wasn't as like there's... If it, it wasn't animated as like harshly, so it's like it's yeah. hard to get super into. So I was like, yeah. yeah. But I, mean, I, was really cool there, I think I would have teared up. <laughs> but the flashbacks, man, like where they were showing him like the whole thing, and then like his like like he was like finally like, like smiling to her like right before he got hit by the bullet. Uh, I definitely uh, felt um, it on the inside, pedophile. but not on the outside. Need... <laughs> the tear didn't come out; it was just inside. You need more. Time. Yeah, I was tearing yeah. up. I was tearing up pretty hard. Yeah, I'm gonna tear yeah, up when Chisaki dies. That guy has to live such a hard life. He got one scratch and he had acne breakout. Think how difficult his life is. I mean, that, I I just can't imagine life like that. He should have been a bubble boy. That's right. What do you guys think about the the preview? Uh, Because apparently, Nadai had a look into Ares and uh, Deku's future, and that's kind of iffy as to what's going to happen. I don't know that at all. I'm ready. I'm ready. Deku's right through the walls. What's up? Deku breaks through, right? And then he's yes. like, yo, what's up, guys? Yeah, that's yeah, Deku this breaks episode. through. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah, but then uh, in the preview, uh, they show you a preview of what's going to happen next. And apparently, Nadai takes a look at Deku and Eri's future. And it's it oh. kind of sketchy as to what might happen for them. I don't yeah. remember. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, basically, Nadai's there. Aizawa's there. Um, but I I think it's just, I think it's only Aizawa and uh, Nadai, though. I don't think there's anybody else in that group. No, I think there's just history. Yeah. So, and then I, yeah. Yeah. We shall see. All I know is, like, uh, I don't know. Lemillion's badass. I want his figure over here. <laughs> My God. I think you got plenty <laughs> here. Way to put in a figure plug, Stratton. Yeah. yeah. You, you want to grab your camera and bring it over to that and showcase it or what? Yeah. And give, us all, give us all the most sickness in the process. Yes. We're fine. Hey, man, don't make me shake this, this camera. <laughs> all right. Is there anything else that you guys want to add for this episode of My Hero Academia? I don't think so. I, mean, I, I, I think the what? <laughs> you know how they always like talk to each other like Jana. I mean, it's like basically see you later. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but um, no, I I, uh, I think I'm like just from the preview. I think like uh, with like the the still images and shots and stuff like this, and just with uh, um, like the where like the animation has kind of been like below like what I think their animation has been. Or like, uh, I think it's. I think the next episode is where like the the budget will go. Um, I think hopefully. Yeah, I'd say the next two episodes is probably where the budget's gonna go. Because again, Deku's popular on the like, scene and he has an MC. Oh, I got so. a question for you guys too. Um, you guys are, whenever you guys are ready. Sorry, David, did you want to say something? No, or? I was just gonna say like at the very least, like Deku's final fight with Shisaki at the end should probably it should be really good. I'm okay, that's my that's that's my follow up question. Do you guys think that this is like the the final part of Shisaki? Do you guys still think he gets he gets away? Or do you think this yes. is like where he's? Yeah, I think he gets away. Really? Oh, he gets away. Yeah, I think he's, he's out. Gonna die. He's dead. I think he's, he's out. Dead. I don't know about dead, but I think he's no. done. No, he's so... <laughs> he dead. He got touched. He got. He got. He's it. He's a just he gonna. Though. He's actually just it... gonna go insane. He's like, I don't want to get caught, so he touches himself and just blows himself up. He's I wonder over. if it works against him, like or himself. You know, if there's a know. will, there's a way, man. Fair enough. But I think so, it makes zero sense to end his character arc right here. Like, what That's was what the I'm purpose saying. of him? Yeah, it doesn't make any That's sense. Why I say. But, but, dude, like, I actually oh. thought, I mean, like, they ended Stain really quick, too. I thought Stain was going to go for a while, but it seemed like his yeah. his arc was so short. Well, let's be honest. Stain didn't have a brain. He was just the guy who was like, yeah, I'm a Stain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is and the, they're this like, okay. This is the head of the Yakuza. Like, it'd be such a waste yeah. to throw us away. Dude, I think if he was going to be ending soon, it would be like, there would have to be like a full flashback episode, and then like a whole other episode. I don't think he'd die. I think there'd be like a whole other episode about like how what they're going to do with. Him. So I don't like no matter what, this won't be like the last big episode that he's featured in. No, I feel like this yeah. could be three or four more episodes, but yeah. then that's gonna be the end of this arc, and then he is gonna mm-hmm. die, and it's gonna like move on over to his League of Villains. Yeah, yeah. I, I, hope, yeah, I hope I it doesn't do that way. I want I want a stronger end for for Chisaki. That'd be, when you think he's a, yeah, he has a two attached when to a guy he, with a mask on his face. But when you but when you think of it though, like they've already yes. had this guy's arc, they've, they've had this guy's arc already going like this whole season, and then it's already it seems so much I'm longer than what you're so, like, they need to do I'm justice. not satisfied either. I'm, they need. <laughs> I agree with you 100. They need David. To do justice. Like they cannot end it here. I'd be so pissed. Like I got you guys. All right, this guy is not going to be the guy that dies in a tunnel randomly. Like that. That would just be so weird. I think what happens is maybe they lose a member. He's going to get away, and then he's going to reassess, and they're going to have to game plan again with the League of Villains. That's going to set up the final showdown at the end of the season, and that's yeah. where you might see someone lose, like a major villain goes down. But I think what right if... now, go ahead, sorry, go it would ahead. just be 
Yeah, no, it would just be too soon. Like, it doesn't make any rational sense. Like, you got a guy who's very methodical, who has long-term goals, and then you show him and build him up for half a season or however long it's been, and he's done halfway through the season. It like, just wouldn't make sense from a writing perspective. Yeah, like, I'd be so how do you write a character like that? I'd be so yeah. disappointed with the author. That's what he does. Like, And then um, I'll blame Shren. Why yep, me? Because you, you brought it up, man. You, you thought of it. So the author was fault. distracted by all because the figures. It makes, I, I still, I don't know. I still think no, it doesn't make, make sense. Because, no. This, because, okay, You're not okay. giving okay. any good argument for why it makes sense. Okay, okay. I'm just going by basically like the, the previous arcs with this, the Hero Academia creator. Like They haven't been this long. They, they, they had the whole season that's like for Chisaki. You say whole already, season, like, but like remember the first season was a recap. So technically, and this is only episode technically 11, so technically it's only been 10, season, 10 episodes. Yeah. So, um, so do you guys think? Do you think they they get Arena though, or do you think Arena goes with Chisaki Ari. then? No, I, I Ari, think sorry. I think they got her. Yeah. Like she's yeah, she's, she's safe yeah. now. Yeah, she's safe. Okay. Yeah, Brian? I think Lemillion's sacrifice has to mean something, and that sacrifice right. was for the purpose of saving Ari. If yeah. she's gone, then his sacrifice was absolutely worthless. Yeah, yeah true. Brian, and they got a dump his body. <laughs> But, right, again, this, this is season four, you're, you're, and they just you're. introduced this group in this season. So I don't okay. think they're going to be as important as you guys think they are. Or... I got, I got one I more bet. Thing. I got you, man. All right. <laughs> All right, one more thing before I can. I'm just done. Um, what if Chisaki, Chisaki gets away, but then he goes for he goes to the League of Villains for support, and then uh, to, uh, Tomura kills him. I can see that, that happening. Right. Okay. I hope that's not happen either. Right now, though. I really hope dude, that because. Dude, because they've already shown like in like in in the League of Villains eyes, like they already see like Yakuza is just useless. Right? Well, I know, but like, why even bother doing everything that they've been doing up to this point? I mean, I guess it would be for like information or access to what they have, but they still don't have it yet. So, but, 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 but they... go ahead. Sorry. Go, no. Sorry. If, uh, so he, uh, so uh, tomorrow, or whatever, like knows of uh, Chisaki's plan already. Mm -hmm. So he has information, and yeah. if if it goes out the way I think it is, where they get like like some some bullets somehow yeah he knows about the drug already yeah too. so he has the drug now as well so he doesn't need him anymore he so just... he has the drug no i'm saying if they do happen to get the he drug knows about right. it yeah right okay so if mm -hmm. they do happen to get the drug they don't really need him anymore they have what they need so they can just kill him off and do their own thing yeah. well they Which need is why... no well they i guess they do but, but they already have the product so they well, kind of, yeah kind of I, really... I mean <laughs> yeah a limited supply like it just doesn't like i don't see the point of killing him. i don't think he'd go well, legal villains i think he'd still have other yakuza groups to to re re regroup with I don't, I don't think he's that desperate but, yet well for tomorrow all he wanted to, he basically just wanted to know what their plan was yeah the yakuza plan was and then like, throughout this whole thing like the, i think just like how things happen they they see them as useless and not necessary to like moving forward. So I don't right. see. So in their eyes, they just see Yakuza as just nothing. <sighs> just almost. I, mean, I disagree a little bit because I think if you're a villain and you got a chance to use someone else's power to help you get rid of heroes, you're yeah. going to take advantage of that. So yeah. I think the only reason they're partnering up is because, hey, listen, if we can take out a few heroes, that makes it a lot easier for us. So yeah. it's a win-win for them if Chisaki takes out three or four heroes, and then the heroes end up eliminating part of the Yakuza. And they come in and just like weep all the rewards from that. Yeah. So I think that's the end game for Tomura, but I uh, I don't know if it's gonna play out like that. As yeah, a because... villain, I don't think their ego would allow that. Yeah. Well, really? Yeah. I hope uh... that doesn't happen. I hope they're smarter than that. Maybe not the rest, but I think Tomura, I think Tomura is, is playing is the better long than game. that. Yeah. But the thing is, like, I mean, like, if uh, let's say Chisaki goes back to League of Villains, and it's only him coming back, like, and then because like his entire like basically at this point, like Chisaki really has nobody left. I mean, no, he has, he has the other Yakuza groups throughout the country. It's not just that one area, I mean, that, that one place. Yeah. Hey, man, yeah. he has a guy with a garbage bag over his head that eats things, okay? <laughs> like He's out of commission right now, sir. Like, so. right, it's, not, it's not just that one city, the, the Yakuza, and it's all over Japan. So he can recruit yeah. all the Yakuza from Japan. So I don't think... Yeah, I don't think he's going to be that desperate to go to League of Villains. I think he has more backup. But, but he might, because they are partners now. But how does he? No, but well, I think he rather trusts the country, his, though. I think he have his own. He trusts his own Yakuza members. Then, like, how is other... he going to get there? To get to that point, though. At this point, like, they know who he is, like, what he's done. Well, high underground. He's like, they have. He's, he's like Kuza. Like, they've always known he's. He's, he's going to wear a mustache. I don't know, man. I just don't think so. I think I think it's either he's going to get <laughs> yes, caught here. No, he doesn't, he doesn't even have to like, be. Die. He doesn't, he doesn't yes. have to do all the dirty work. You just have other people do it for him. He'll just be like yeah. hidden this whole time, just like Yakuza. Yeah, I still think he's gonna get either caught or he's gonna die here or he's gonna no. die by Tomorrow. That's what no. gonna be my 
That's gonna no, be my I think you no. okay, right. I like how you just right. gave yourself three options. You like you didn't <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh I think no, for, for the end is just I approve. I approve for how he's gonna end. I think it's gonna be one of those three ways. Three options all, right. all wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna give another option. He ends up just taking away his own powers and says, guys, I'm just gonna walk away. I'll destroy the drugs. I'm gonna make up my own store. It's gonna be called Chisake, and he's gonna serve sake to all the people within the city. <laughs> That's his way of uh, atoning for his sins. So, I guys, I, guys, I think my my prediction is has a stronger no chance of happening than Sasha's. Yeah, yeah. but I'd rather have Sasha's happen. Oh my god! <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, right now I'm still sucking. No, oh, I'm not playing Eustra. If any of this happened, playing Eustra, and I'd be so why? pissed. If that's why oh, the show god. goes. I'd be so pissed. Like, I'm gonna play. It's gonna be all your fault. David, I, I hope it happens. No, I hope it happens. I'm gonna be so then, pissed. Like, I just don't see why you guys are so attached to this new villain that was just introduced this season. I really don't either. Because he's so much more interesting than the other ones that have shown up. Yeah, like he actually yes. has a plan. He has things that he's been he's been putting into motion forever. Half of the League close. of Villains, I still don't know what they want or what their names are or what their powers are. They're like this disorganized mess. And then here comes in Shisaki on top of his shit. Like I want to see where he's gonna go he's with a it. Fucking Yakuza. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> like. You guys gotta separate the real life like... stuff from the anime. <laughs> okay. Right. okay. I still like Stain. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm gonna stick with Sorrel. Like I'm a simple minded probably... fool. I see <laughs> this man Stain. Stain. He's badass. I like Stain, dude. I wish he was here forever. Mm. I almost killed three kids, but I failed. Hell yeah, dude. He <laughs> stopped <laughs> Infernal Man. What? What's his name? What's the fire uh, guy? Oh, God. Uh, Endeavor, I think. Yeah, yeah Endeavor. Endeavor. Yeah, Endeavor. He literally nice. stopped Endeavor by just talking. That's pretty OP, dude. He was screaming, but yeah. But yeah. Endeavor, a walking barbecue grill? Not that impressive, let's be honest. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> pretty, that's uh, barbecue number, grill. The number two. Well, he's not, no, he's not number one. He's number one now. No. Based on yeah. retirement. Yeah. Uh, but he, yeah. he did respect All Might. I have no idea who Chisaki respects, if anybody. He respects whoever the, the, old the guy man, that worked right? for it. Yeah, the, yeah. the his, Pasa Kisaka, cool. his foster father. Mm. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yep. The guy laying in bed. Yep. Good guy. He's like, yeah. oh, you guys go take care of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, Father, we need your advice. Please, what shall we do? Oh, my stomach hurts. I'm going to lay back a little bit. <laughs> Can you guys go out there? Oh, you can watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're in there for we'll now. See what happens. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what happens next week. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, what happens. Yeah. see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> so, I think we had enough of my hero academia. We've been going on yes. way too long, so yep. we're in here for now, and then we're gonna move on to our next shows.